situation are never in our hand. We do our part, but then the results are definitely not in your hand. And so, sometimes what you expect you don't get, and then comes negativity, frustration, anxiety, anger, and all these things are going to hurt us only, nobody else. And in the world, who cares whether you are healthy or sick? Am I? Yeah. Whether you are healthy or sick, whether you are alive or dead, who bothers? What do you know? What, have, what will bother is my life to be bothered by it, my family would be bothered by it. And so I have responsibility, duty to take care of myself, to maintain my balance. Results sometimes up, sometimes down. Businesses happen. Sometimes you are successful in business, sometimes you are not. So when business is not successful, you don't have to get so much unhappy. You should know that, come on, now let us try a new way and go ahead in life. You should know how to live life. Uh, one day I asked a question in the class, what is life? So what do I answer? He said, outside is life is what? Between B and D is life. I said, what do you mean by B and D? It sounds uh, How do I? Tell up, bolo. Bolo. Ha, ha, to get. Better. This words. You mean Basun bola, three talent. Basun bola. Okay, this is much better. Ha. But. Okay. Okay. So I said. What is this B and D? So the boy said B is birth and B is death. Life is in between. I said very good answer. But do you know there is C in between? B, C, D. What is this C do you know? He said I don't. I said I tell you. C is a choice. Somebody behave rudely. You have a choice to get hurt or not to get hurt. Situations are never in our hand, but how to deal with that situation is very much in our hand. Results are never in our hand, but how to take that result, make the best out of it and move ahead in life is in my hand. So we have to learn how to deal with this and we should remember that we always have a choice to suffer or not to suffer. To get hurt or not to get hurt. To feel bad or not to feel bad. To feel unhappy or to feel I normal, happy and take things joyfully. Anything is possible. I can take it. No? All of you? Would you agree? So what is to be done is we should always remember that when I get disturbed, when I am upset, when I am hurt, when I am sad, I suffer. How do I suffer? The moment I get upset, my joy is gone, my happy state is gone. What happens to me? My blood pressure shoots up. My pulse is a little fast. My breathing is shallow because breathing and mind, they go together. That's why yogis give lots of importance to pranayama. Breath and mind, they go together. Mind is disturbed, breath is disturbed. So breathing goes fast. Oxygen going into blood, carbon dioxide coming out of blood doesn't take place so completely. Spent and was already done. Digestion. Why digestion gets affected? Body, that food which I have eaten, you know, all of you will learn very soon. Body will go do what? Either store that food or throw that food away. But body will not absorb, uh, assimilate and convert food into energy. No. Why? Because mind is disturbed and so whole system gets disturbed. Mind supersedes body. Very clear. So, and then above all, our nervous system is rattled. So concentration becomes poor. Memory becomes poor. Reasoning power is totally affected. We, have, we are superior than animals because of our reasoning power. 
what is right, what is wrong, we can reason out. And that's why we are superior, but that is God. Why? Because somebody behaved rudely. And what is happening to you? You are suffering. Do you think this is the way to live our life? Yoga says, no, he is he, you are you. Every human is different. Every human is sample by itself. Hum sab ek ek namuna hai. Right? Hamare jaisa dusra namuna bhagwaan ne nahi banaya hai. So we have to understand. He is one variety. Variety is more, say something. Why am I supposed to get upset because of that? If he can't see good in me, it's his problem, but why problem? Can't we think like this? And not suffer. We have to start understanding that any talk, think, heading and disturb me, then who am I? Who am I then? Yeah, I have my own personality. I have to uplift myself. I don't have to put myself down in life. So learn to live life properly. Every human is different. Nobody can understand you 100% in life. Not possible. Because that person is different. We think our parents are like us. No, they are different. Brother, sister or family members. No. Few alike people would be there. But God is very great. God sees to it that all varieties come in the same house, not the same time. Somebody shouts only in the house, somebody doesn't talk only, somebody talks round about, somebody speaks lies only, somebody is lazy, somebody is hardworking, somebody plays politics, somebody is unhappy all the time. You do anything, they are never happy. Dunya kharaab, sab kharaab, nobody cares for me. Such dialogues. Sanctified miserable people. On the right, it's very easy to get disturbed, upset. He shouted, so your food is off. He spoke lies, so you are really angry. He didn't do his work properly. I explained him ten times till he didn't do his work properly, so you are upset. Now, what is this happening? We go on getting upset, go on suffering, go on getting hurt, we go on singing all this song that this is bad, that is bad. That's a at all. We have to take a decision. All of you are sitting in front of you, you have to take a decision right now. That from today onwards, I don't want to suffer because of anybody in life. Anybody. Let that be. Father, mother, brother, sister, anybody. You are not going to suffer. Means you are going to take things balanced not in a negative way. Situation, that situation, that also will change. Yoga says that material world continuously is changeful. What is there today, tomorrow, it may not be there. It is changeful. So why are you so much disturbed? It will change. Then things will be different. We have to bring this philosophy. You see, yoga is a subject that deals with three subjects together. One, human psychology. How human mind works and how it is supposed to work. Somebody disturbed you, somebody spoke nonsense. Normally you will get hurt, but how you should not get hurt. So you have to learn these things. How to think, how to use your emotions in a right way. You see, we have two things in our mind. One is intellect, which is called as good thing. Intellect. A thinking capacity, reasoning capacity that is one with us and second we have is emotions. Our emotions could be positive or could be negative. They can get upset very easily. You are very happily moving around and suddenly a fly fell in your nice dish or suddenly some, something fell down there and you are upset about it. Gee, what a lucky place. You will enjoy it and suddenly you get negative. Except fly that there, leave that place, take another. But getting disturbed, why should we? We have to learn that. Become aware, alert that 
Any negative thought is going to bring me only down. Nobody else. You want to shout at that person, shout also. But without getting disturbed, you, we all should know how to do acting in life. Act up. Shout. Kabhi zor se bhi bolna patta hai na? Speak it up. But don't suffer. That has to come to you. Internally, your, everything should be fine, settled. So, what is psychology, human mind, how it works and how it is supposed to work. Second subject is philosophy. Yoga is a subject of philosophy. Patanjali Yoga Darshan, philosophical science, Darshan Shant. It is philosophy. Means, what should be the goal and purpose of doing everything in life? Have you noticed that in life, do we really remember what is the purpose behind doing any action in life? We just do it because everybody is doing, we do it. They think that becoming doctor is very good, we become doctor. And we don't realize that keep that purpose in mind, that I have to become a doctor. I have to do these, these, these things. But very often the purpose is lost. And we do so many such things which go against the purpose. Watch yourself. So yoga always says that keep purpose in mind and then do anything in life. Your life should definitely have some goal, some purpose. Every action should have some goal and some purpose. And then only you should do it. So sitting and worrying, what is the purpose of worrying? Nothing. Useless. Why will not worry? I have given an example of what will happen, what will happen, whether I get to ask or not. Come on, stop using your mind like that. Come on, back to Gana Gana saying, keep your mind busy in different different activities, keep busy helping others, doing other. With a Gana, you will see what to do and nowhere. Unnecessarily using our mind. Mind also is an instrument, machine, Baba. It should be used properly. But we unnecessarily, without purpose, worry, get tense, get upset. Somebody behaves rudely, why are you upset? What do you want? Everybody should behave sweetly with you. Everybody should talk good about you. Everybody should cooperate with you. Is it possible? In the world, everybody is there. Dog is there, donkey is there, horse is there, lion is there, jackals are there, everything is there. We have accepted animals. There is no problem. How comfortably we live with a dog? Have you seen? Dog barks, dog bites also. Yet people keep dog in the house. Why? Because they have seen one good quality in a dog. The dog is faithful. So that one quality in dog is in the house. But you don't tell your dog, stop barking. It's irritating me. It's giving me migraine. You don't talk like that. Dog is going to bark. If you talk like that, you will be taken to mental asylum. Dog is going to bark. <laughs> about biting is concerned, you can't tell your dog, don't bite me, I love you, I care for you. When dog is playing with pitch, don't you ever go near your dog, dog is going to bite you. So how do you manage? You study your dog. You understand what is its nature, how he behaves, what really irritates him. You don't do it. You will be able to live with dog. If you do, you will be better. You will be taking your attention. So how nicely we handle dog, parking, biting animal. So why can't we handle humans also like that? But we want to change that. Hey, chilla ke baat nahi karna, voice niche rakhna. Chilla nahi karna usko ya, kya karna padna hai? Let him shout ya, let him shout. He enjoys shouting, wow, what a voice, what a eyes rolling here and there. How his hands are moving here and there. And so I think, why should you get hurt? I don't see. Why should we get hurt if somebody is shouting? Enjoy that. You see small babies, they enjoy very much. They do some mischief and their mother is shouting, mother, they are looking at them like that. Very nice. Peacefully, no problem. And they do the same thing again. Again you shout. They will again enjoy you. We learn a lot from babies. Learn. To suffer. Shouting man, one variety. But at 
think of money, tension, or is a lazy person. There is a list given in yoga. That these things should be removed from your system. One is Vyadi. Vyadi is when you are not giving proper nutrients to your body. Proper food habit is a must. Unfortunately, I have seen the most sick people are doctors. Doctors, I have seen many. Dr. Pat came on there at the Yoga Institute. Many doctors have come at the Yoga Institute. All. And we have done research with the senior doctors all over. And I have seen many. I, when I meet them, I feel, oh my God, they need yoga, really, they need yoga. But they all have this problem. They say, no time, no time, I have to do this operation, that operation. Yoga tells you whatever you are doing, become aware. Khane ka time hai, kitna, how much time do you need to eat food? How much time? 15 minutes, so if you really sit with everything, but understand that anything other than water is food. Understand this definition. Water is different. Anything other than water is food. A glass of lemon juice also would be food. A buttermilk glass would be food. A handful of chana would be food. Chana kurmura, just put it in mouth and a glass of lemon juice. How much time it takes? Five minutes. Same time when you go to bathroom, to evacuate your bowels or bladder, right? But we have not given importance for that entirely and khanaka. All the doctors have to learn because all the doctors and basically doctors in such hospitals, where I see I was driving and the Sire Hospital was on the way and this, the rush, the amount of people who are coming here, at the amount of patients every doctor has to see, my God, it, it's very, very tough thing. And here, if you get lost in the world, I have to take this patient now, this, 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 this. What about you yourself? First duty in yoga, we say, is, first duty is duty towards yourself. When you travel in the aircraft, they say the oxygen level goes down, so here the, you know, the tube comes down. And at first you have to put it on you and then you help your child. Actually, if you are in a bad state, how much are you going to treat, treat people? Not possible. How long are you going to go like that? Then very comfortably diabetes comes in. Very comfortable. <laughs> Your body is ready for all those diseases. Heart blockages automatically are going to start. Why should all this happen? Do you think we are born to suffer in life? We are born to remain sick in life? Not at all. Till the last breath of our life, we should enjoy perfect good health. Perfect good health. No sickness is required. Institute's founder, Sri Yogendraji, we live for 93 years. And not a single day he was in hospital on any problem or even old age problem you can't hear and you can't eat or you can't have back bending, not at all. Fit. My mother-in-law, Sri Sita Devi, she lived for 97 years. Perfect. My mother is still there. I am 72, my mother is 92. You see her, absolutely perfect. No problem at all. I have fallen so many times, I have broken my joints, legs, fractured, so I have careful in walking, climbing. I don't want to fall again now. But no health problem, fit and fine. Why should we get sick? Little, little things we have to do for ourselves. To remain healthy, you don't have to do big, big things. Little, little things. And if you start doing this little, little thing, you will be perfect, I guarantee. No problem will come. And work can never destroy anybody. Work is always good. Work. Work. If you know work, then mind goes here and there. And that creates more problem. Human mind can create any problem. Psychosomatic disease, you all. 
I am not going to that area. I want you all, doctors, the future, now you have just started your career. Right from now, form habits. Such habits that you will take care of yourself right now. You have to study more, then you will be seeing the patients more. Life would be nothing else but this, because as a doctor, your life would be this. But how to take it? We don't have to become selfish that your patient is dying and I am sitting and doing meditation. No. Or I go for a badminton. No. We have a duty, but we should know how to manage that little. That is possible only if we have awareness. How am I living my whole day? One full day. What am I supposed to do? That's how yoga talks about. We at the yoga institute teach these things. Little, little things. So first of all, definition of food is very clear. As I gave you an example, a head full of this and a glass of lemon juice or just a buttermilk or some fruit or fruit juice. Keep cut fruit always with you. Keep always uh, that, you know, crisp chapati, khakras are there always with you or a crisp bhakri or dal and rice mixture in a daba always with you. How many time you take to eat food? Just but, but no need to spend comfortably more time. But eating on time is a must. So that body flows with its rhythm. Have you seen people who fast? Monday fast karna hai, bhai, Saturday fast karna hai. Do you think they are thin? They put on more weight. Because body is always under stress. Abhi khana aega ki nahi. Food will come or come. So whatever food comes, body stores it. Body stores that food. Yoga doesn't talk about fasting. Yoga talks about fasting in a different way. That if food is your weakness, then stop. If chocolate is your weakness, for one year don't eat chocolates. Well, give it to others, but don't eat. Strengthen your mind. Then without chocolate also you can survive. So such weaknesses, to remove weaknesses, we can use such terminology. Or you are talking, talking too much more. Don't talk for two hours at least in a day. If let people talk, you want to talk, but keep your mouth shut. That is possible. Little control, little awareness. I have seen person with Parkinson. Somebody was there yesterday. Hand is shaking very badly. Hand is shaking. I have been to my worrying people. Anxiety, tension. I told him, like, focus, focus. Bring your mind on your hand and keep in such a way where it doesn't shake. And he could do it. He focused it very well and the hand was not shaking. Calm your mind down. So automatically slow breathing, in and out. Breathing in and just long exhaling. Mm. Exhaling or you may call home. There is no need of even home. Just humming. Mm. So you are, you are slowly breathing out and you are relaxing. Long exhalation, relaxation occurs. Or so much of research we have done. So, and we made him to do that. Two minutes and he's shaking. Stop. Totally stop. And then he understood that it is the game of mind. More than feeling helpless and, you know, upset about how I am shaking, why everybody is helping. Huh? Any problem, there is a solution there. And you should know how to do it. And then his wife told me that he is shaking less and then when he thinks too much, we tell him, come on, let's sing, let's do something and the shakiness is much less. But point is, the moment first symptom comes, if you attend to it, when symptom comes, we should know in what area I am doing mistake. Am I eating on time or not? No, then start eating on time. Am I sleeping well? No, then sleep well. So, I go step by step. First is the food. Second, body activity. Do you know what body activity means? Body is structured in such a way that we are supposed to walk. We should be walking. So, don't sit at one place for long. There is always a pressure on your back. You know, kidneys are always under pressure. Where is the flow? Is it flow of prana, energy? That is disturbed. So something sitting on, it's sitting itself, 
he should attend to accept. Sitting with legs up, cross legs, sit on the floor in the house so that your body is flexible. The pressure and tension at the back is less. We have to sit and travel, but I always tell people learn to sit on the floor when you are at home. Here you can't do it. Outside world is the furniture and everything, but in the house, don't sit anymore on chair. Or if at all you have to sit, sit with your legs up. Malati market better than people will show you. Just sit like that. Go on changing your position, different, different, and sitting posture so that your body's stiffness goes away. Body should be flexible. Your vertebral column, spine, and abdomen. These are the two areas yogis concentrate more on. So they say spine should be flexible. Bending forward, bending backward. Your hand should at least touch the floor, standing. In that way, it is that much flexible we should be. So that muscles are always relaxed, flexible, energy is easily flowing all over, and so on. So that, and second is abdomen. All the internal viscera, all the things are inside. Abdomen has to be soft and in, and not protruding out. Pain, no, it may be showing that you are prosperous, but you are unhealthy. More money doesn't mean anything. Uh, health is going to create problems. Stomach has to be thin and not out. So for that certain exercises are there. And total awareness about stomach. The moment, very often, when you are sitting like this also, all of you. Very often, you should move your stomach a bit. I am talking. Now you can move your stomach, breathe out, stomach goes in. Can you do that? All of you. Stomach moves in. Breathe in, stomach is relaxed. Breathe out, stomach in. Breathe in, stomach is relaxed. Can you do that? All of you. Very simple. Nobody knows what you are doing. You should attend to yourself. When patient is talking to you, your attention is there on patient, but your attention should be on you also. Move your stomach in and out, once and twice. You are attending. You have a duty toward yours. All the time. All the time. You can't find separately time to do one hour of asana and half an hour of pranayama and half an hour of meditation. No. Or going for a walk and run and uh, playing something. After you are busy, you will not find time. And so, at least for this awareness in your life. This type of an awareness. So one is food. And one thing always remember that eating at night totally avoid. Totally avoid. You should be eating, last week should be at around 7 o'clock. After that, don't eat. If you have to, remain hungry. That is a problem. And if at all you want to eat, then have something like a soup or dood roti. How many of you have eaten dood roti? Okay. So, how is it? It is tasty. Yes. Chapati, break it, little milk, garam, garam, and shakar, and eat it every Finish it. If at all you can't sleep hungry, otherwise sleep hungry. Good, empty stomach when you sleep. Your body really helps in many ways. Now, if I go into the medical detail, it will take time. But try and understand that night is meant, not meant for activity, night is meant for rest. Day is meant for activity. So morning 7 till 7 is your day. The first meal should be at around 7, 8 o'clock and last meal finished by 7 o'clock. As far as possible. Go here and there. Once in a while go for a party. No problem. But how many times party? Once in a month. Sometimes maybe twice. But that's it. And when you have gone to party next day just eat more fruits. Don't eat anything. So learn to balance. Learn to balance. Understand? No fanatism. I don't eat. I don't do that. Don't behave like this in the society. Sometimes if you are out, you know, people, because after all these emotions which are there around us should be happy and positive emotions. So don't behave differently, but this. So this is as far as diet is concerned. Physical activity. I always tell people that when somebody comes to meet you, you go at the gate, bring it, make it to sit, talk. When he is going, get up, 
leading up to gate, so at least you are moving. You should know how to move. Sometimes somebody is sitting and talking, you should move, walk and talk. You should do that. Do that. And do that, do, do good. Holding, walking. Before food is the time for exercise. So if at all you have a tiffin and you have a time, then at least climb five floors and come back. Punch, mark, five floors. Can you do that? All of you? Yes. Before food is the time for exercise. And after food is the time for relaxation. So after food, you are supposed to just stop thinking. You have to relax at thinking level. Stop thinking. Listen to some sound, sing, look at the world, look at every variety. I always tell myself that I will see today the shape of everybody's nose. You remember God. Or I will see today the shape of everybody's eyes. Or I will see today the way in which they have expression. So give some subject to mind, otherwise mind will go here and there. So try and see that you do relaxation after food. Okay, so this discipline, four times we are eating, four times or if you can do something before food, just touch the floor somewhere, we are, we'll show you a few things, just do that, but do something for yourself. Help yourself. Okay. And up. And then comes a major problem and that is sleep. <coughs> sleep is a very natural phenomenon. Every living creature, right from insect down to everybody, elephant, you and me, everybody sleeps. Ahar, nidra, food and sleep. The first, that is living, living perspective. Now sleep, I give you one story about sleep. Have you heard the name of Hitler, all of you? Yes. Do you know what Hitler used to do? Hitler used to have a torture session on captives. All those soldiers, young, young boys, poor thing, between the age of 19 and 22. These were soldiers and Hitler used to, but they catch them, those captives, they put them in jail. But he does torture session on them. And that torture, one of the torture sessions, very funny torture session, he was really a bad guy. The way in which he used to torture other human beings was terrible. Cutting some part of the body, throwing nails here and there in different parts, and removing eyes and what not. But one torture session was very different. He would keep 200 soldiers in one bed all. Give them bed to sleep and order them. Eat, drink and be merry. How we all watch her. Okay. Only you can't do one thing. And that is you cannot sleep. Well, so, you will want And they say best of the food was available. Everything was available in that hall. You can dance, you can play, you can read, you can sing, you can uh, do anything. Anything, whatever you want. And right is the best food available. So, soldiers were very happy. How do you watch Karo? No problem. But, say, two days, somehow they could manage. Third day, tremendous amount of anger would sprout up. Anger, frustration, non adjusting non-cooperative behavior, abusive language, wild behavior, all that started on third day. Fourth day, severe depression, and severe schizophrenia. And fifth day, total psychotic condition, total madness. And mad people can behave anything. That they look here and they say, oh, what a lovely mountain, I will jump on everybody. Or they will see bird flying and they say, I will also fly. And they will go up and jump and die. They start dying. And within 15 days, all of them die. All of them. That was torture session. I was, in 1982, I was in Germany, they had put up an exhibition on how Hitler used to torture people. Yeah. And when I saw this, this was terrifying. But this, the, I have learnt only one lesson from that. That sleep is how much important it is. If you find you are seeing only negativity in the world, sleep more. 
sleep one hour early. Cancer, one hour early. Any sickness in your body, that body is not healthy, not at ease. This is not at ease with yourself. Sleep regularly. Continuously catching cold and off and viral infection, virus, 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 all the time. Sleep early. And you will notice the difference in your health. Not physical health, but even mental health. When you go to a psychiatrist, he gives you medicine. What that medicine does? Puts you to sleep. Why can't you sleep regularly? So learn. Good sleep would be if you sleep before 12. After that is not. Now you have to study, study. You are studying up to 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and then you sleep. No. Sleep first. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock and then you wake up at 1 or 2 and then study. That would be better. You have no time to study, sleep. After food, sleeping is wrong. Body is busy digesting your food. Body is not getting rest. So sleep with empty stuff. So during day also, if you have to sleep, first sleep it out and then eat food. Understand this thoroughly well. And that's how you will be able to handle yourself. But we should be keeping this in mind that good sleep. Whenever there is a chance, sleep it out. I had Mr. Bhimsen Joshi at the institute. You know Bhimsen Joshi now, if some of you may not know. Classical singer, he was very, very strong voice, very versatile. Whole night he would be singing. But during day, wherever he goes, if he came to the institute, and uh, I was a little busy in some class, so by the time I came, I sent a message, but did you, thus did I ask you, 10 minutes I come. So that 10 minutes he had, he just sat on the chair and slept. Or he arms, just when I came, I called Pandiji. I was like, yeah, yeah. You can sleep like this. He said, yes, I don't have to sleep. I don't have to sleep. I don't have to sleep. That hour. Sleep at me. I tell you, light up and sleep. You should be able to sleep. Slowly, slowly have that mastery over your mind. Sleep feels what? Stop thinking. Just observe. Just relax. Just relax every part of your body. Stop thinking. So this is how we have to help ourselves. So good sleep, right on time. That's the area. Third area is your timetable. Try and make your timetable. Dicharya. Proper. What time you will get up, what time you will do. Little all these things are important. So situations are not in our hand. Suddenly here was a boy who was, who was, exam, was just two days afterwards and he, he, his father was going and he went with an accident. Now he has to just rush, leave everything, take father to hospital and then father died. And now he's exam. And suddenly anything is possible in anybody's life. So we are not supposed to keep uh, any work till the end. We should let, we know that anything is possible. We should be very, very organized right from the beginning. And see to it that we are not in a rush. In case if something happens, at least don't worry, except I mean, what, what are my priorities? They are more important. Taking care of father because nobody else was there. If there's somebody else was there, fine. Not worrying, but study. So, all these challenges happen in our life. Life is full of challenges. Lots of exams we give in, of life. These exams are temporary. Life exams continue. And we have to learn to take it and do our duty. So, this May is timetable and always see that certain things you have to do every day. And then finally, how do you think? Which I started by talk with that. You have a choice to think right or wrong. So this is how we should go about in our life. And learn that we are not indispensable. When you start working, you should know that without you also work can run. If suppose too many things are there, you could always learn to delegate things if you can or do only that much which is possible for you. Then if somebody criticizes or somebody 
says anything, it's fine. I mean, we have to take it. Take negativity as it is. Learn from the negativity and move ahead in life. So learn to take failures, negativity also very comfortably. Uh, that is not the end of everything. Life is much, much more beautiful also. I am just giving you one side of life. From other side, it is quite different. Person should... There is, there is a famous story in Mahabharata where the Arjun and Bhishma Pitama on the other side. Arjun's arrows cheers Bhishma Pitama through and through and finally Bhishma Pitama fell down. And he was given a boon that nobody can kill him. He will not die. So he was alive. Nobody can. But he was lying down on the bed of arrow. And Arjun and all the Pandavas came to meet him in the evening. They are not enemies. They are fighting for to see that the bad is thrown out. That's their duty. To see that good prevails. And so they are doing their duty. No animosity. So they came to meet Vishnu Pitama, took his blessing, asked him that, Sir, you have lived such a long life. What advice you will give to we people who live hundred plus here and there. So what advice? How should we live? So he gave a very strong advice. He says, number one, Sharira Pantyam Kalu Dharma Sadhanam. He says, it is this body through which you will be doing everything in life. So see that your body is kept fit. Your body don't do anything to harm your body. Body means mind also. Don't do anything to harm your body. How comfortably we harm our body? We overeat, we drink alcohol, we smoke, we chew some tobacco because just we like it. But we should remember that we have to keep our body un free from unhygienic condition. Sick body would be a burden, total burden to us. You see, yoga says that the day you are born, roughly your time of death is fixed with which you are born. So when that time comes, you will be gone. Till that time comes, nobody can kill you. Nobody will kill you. I have seen people in big accidents, six, six pieces this body had. But nowadays, orthopedic surgeons are very clever. They, they know how to join. Somehow his main organs were not disturbed and so he's alive. He's coming to the institute, little, little, with a stick shaking, but his mind is very alert and thinking, very... He didn't die. Anybody saw that such a bad accident, he would be gone, but no, he's alive. So, when you see such things, you realize that there's something else is governing our life, not just day-to-day -day management. So that, that nobody can kill you till your time comes. So point is that you should have a responsibility of not putting wrong things in your body. I have seen many doctors because they are overworked, frustrated and all that, they very comfortably drink, they have parties and then they drink in party. Who is telling you to have party and have party? Have some joke, play dumb charade, play some games. Come on, try and dance, sing. All these are beautiful things. But drinking, alcohol, who is telling you to do that? Foreigners, they do that. Entire system is different. Their culture came from culture. And then and the whole point is, how much they suffer health-wise, I know. I have been practically in many countries. And not a good state of mind. And as a doctor, you are there to give life to others, to help others, to see that they don't suffer. And here you are doing wrong things for your life. If you don't respect yourself, do you think the world is going to respect you? So don't do that. Never ever. The best drink is do you know what it is? Lemon juice. Nebu packet. Now, so America is thinking of having a lemon day as different different days are there, lemon day. But lemon juice is so important. Half lemon is equal to four bowls of beef. Come on, make a limbo party and everybody should make a nice limbo party. Khatta, mita, arabs if you, whenever you have fruits, fruit juices, I would say fruit should be eaten, not juice for. But if you have quite a lot of them, have that also. Mixed cocktail of fruit juices, 
All men you should carry with you and drink for upset. But why alcohol? Do you know what happens when you take alcohol? The after effect of alcohol is depressive. It is depressing, not healthy. Your alertness is still gone. Your capacity is still gone. We had what Dr. Shetty, when he stayed very close to institute and his clinic is just opposite, general practitioner, very popular doctor in our whole area of Brahman College. He earlier, opposite was the Yoga Institute. Yoga Institute is one acre land, a nice beautiful garden and everything is fine. Practically 2,000 people come there every day. Dr. Shetty used to watch that but never entered. But when he saw his blood pressure was going up, he said, Baba, let me see what they are doing. And he came because he thought that now I have to take medicine for the whole life. Blood pressure is not going to pressure the whole life. So he wanted to think. So he came to the yoga institute. He saw what we are doing. He started learning how to breathe, how to calm yourself, how to think, how to think, how to manage that stress and so on. So he learned that. And then his blood pressure became normal. Within three months he was back to normal and he was highly impressed. He said, let me learn yoga. Then what he saw was that earlier he used to take 100 patients in a hundred battery has gone low. Okay. Hundred patients in a day. But whole day, even at night till two o'clock, three o'clock, he was busy. After doing yoga, he could analyze patients' problems so easily that he was doing the same number of patients, little more, but by 9 o'clock at night. And at night he would go and sleep at 10 o'clock. He is also 72 year old, by age, very fit and fine, no health problem at all. Blood pressure also, he doesn't have to take medicine because he is fine. And he is doing the same service, rather he, quite a lot of services we can call him sometimes here to give a talk because the way in which he realized that after doing yoga your intelligence work functions very fast and it can give you results very fast so he doesn't take more time in understanding very nicely people love it so the point is this that let us not hurt and harm our body by wrong things. Once in a while, people tell me, Hansaji, we should experience everything in life. Yoga says you don't have to take poison to experience what poison is. What other people are drinking now, sit, sit with them for a few days, enjoy them, and you will realize how they are and what they are. You have to learn from somebody in life, not learn from your own mistakes. So now become very wise and go ahead in life. So Bhishma said this, one, that keep your body fit and fine, don't harm your body. Second, he says is time pressure. He says all of us are born under time. So live your life in such a way as if it is an emergency. What do you mean by that? Emergency, you are going for your bath. Now emergency is there. You can take bath in five minutes also. You can take bath in half an hour also. But always give a time pressure and take bath in 5 minutes. Eat food, 1 hour also, 10 minutes also, always emergency, take bath. So he said live life under emergency. That's how we have advice, which is a very good advice for your life. So definitely this would fit it very well. There are people with this where somebody is doing, they are sitting, there. everybody can't do business. Any doctor who has decided to business has failed. You are into something, service, if he's a real doctor. So somewhere you should understand that time pressure is no problem. You know, you understand time pressure and tension, these are two different things. I give you a book to read and I tell you by evening I want this book back and you find that book is very important. So you somehow will take out time and read the book. That is time pressure. But if I tell you take this book and read at your leisure, Whole year will pass, you will not find time to read that book. You have seen that, no? In life. 
So giving time pressure is very good. Your mind could be focused, will not go here and there, you will not find time to even sit and worry or get tense or do this or that. No, you will be focusing in your life. Otherwise, we bring all the problems from all the side. Okay? So now after I have spoken all this, if you have any questions or anything you want to know, please be free to ask. No questions? So are you ready to learn some techniques? Yes. Yeah? So where are my... No. You can put the mat here? On top? Yes. Where is your mat? Wood itself is fine. It's not cold. Okay. One thing all of you should remember and do is the moment you wake up in the morning, the moment you wake up, take one or two long breaths, number one. Second, stretch your body. He'll show you how to stretch the body. When I lay it down. When you put it down. You are sleeping, okay, at night. And now you wake up. So now one long breath. There are lumbar sas here. Yeah. And now stretch your body. So breathe in and take your both arms up. And both your toes out. So this is how your whole body is stretched. Simple. You can get up and see. You can't see. Get up. And breathe out and come back. First, second, breathe in and stretch again. And toes inwards, toes in. And push your legs out. Hips for move, push your legs. That's it. Because your back is stiff. In the morning, I have seen many people, the moment they get up and go to watch, and the back catch. So, we are in Bombay. So, little bit hip movement. Okay? Do that. Second, fold your legs. Sukhasana will take care of you. And lie down. Your still eyes are closed. But fold your legs. Understand that keeping your legs straight and sleeping like a stick is wrong. You should always fold your legs and sleep. Sleeping position. You can sleep like this. You can keep one leg straight like that. You can sleep. Uh, put your leg up. There are problems. Have a pokey position here. Ah. This is like that. Okay? You can put your one leg up like this. Ah. Ah. Flat up like this. So, deep Move your leg like this. Little, little. So what are you doing is you keep it close and up your body. Right? It is very easy. Right. Ah. So this is one area. Second, now you have to evacuate your bowels. Ah. So little pressure on your abdomen will do tremendous good. To see that you have a clean bowel movement. So Hold your leg and press your Leg on your stomach. It's not difficult. You can see and do it. Take this leg on this side also. <coughs> on the side. Fine. Take this leg on the side. Putting your hips a bit. Right? And fold that leg. Go pound. And bring it up. Very good exercise not at all difficult. You can just do it. There is no risk about hurting anything. Okay. Fine. Okay. And now, Bhandrasana. Lie down in this position. Perfect. But your stomach should move up and down. 
So breathe in, stomach goes up, breathe out, stomach goes down. So we are really activating our small intestines, large intestine. Peristalsis starts fast. Peristalsis oh, when, when it is good. Evacuation is very perfect. So do that. And then now run at the four position. This is the best position to relax your back, to relax your neck. So when you have stiff neck, usually you have stiff, stiff neck, you are studying, studying, studying. So lie down in this position for some time and that would help. Abdomen breathing. Okay? Now, you should get up. But always don't get up straight, hard. Don't do that. Always turn to the side. Take the support of the hand and slowly get up. This exercise, this little simple body movements, right in the morning, the moment you wake up, now that much time I am sure all of us have, we get up. So do that. All of you. From tomorrow morning you start this. Don't forget these things. It's all good for you. Second, whenever you are sitting, right here, all of you can do that. Whenever you are sitting, we are all worried about the gravity. Gravity is totally on us, pulling us down. Spine is straight. So there is always pressure in between two vertebrae. So stretching upwards is the exercise every human should do. So yogis also said that. So do parvatas. Take your both arms up. Do that all of you. Stretch your both arms. So you are breathing in and stretching your both arms up. Stretch yourself up. Why? Breathe out and come back. Not at all difficult. Sitting, even studying, stretch your arm up when you are studying. One arm, do it again once more. So what he is doing right now, you don't have place out around, but moving your hands from side, taking it up, stretching, taking to the side, see he is going to the side, pulling his spine, going to another side, pulling his spine. Karo Baba, do it all of you. Stretch. Go to the side. Go to the side. Oh, the problem is, wait, 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 wait. The problem is all should flow together. So, take, take your both hands up. Take your hands up. All of us, go to the right side. Very fine. No chaos. Go to the left side. Stop that. Don't go so much that you lose your balance. Okay, and then go back, go back. Look up, look up and go back. Do an exercise to your thyroid. Okay, and go forward. No place here, but here, yes. Yeah. And go back. Okay. Simple. So you have exercised your spine a bit, both sides, on the right, left, up and down. Little and this start on this. Well, that is sitting. Stand. I'm not fine. Very fine. Okay. Now it's standing one. When you are studying, when you are studying, read one paragraph, close your eyes and think, write it down, then get up and do this. So breathe in, bend back, simple. Breathe out and bend forward. Okay. He is flexible so he can do that. Okay, even if you can't do that much, at least go down and touch your hand to the ground if possible but all this what will happen is this entire area is going to get 
flexible and perfect. The entire hamstring muscles are relaxed. So no problem at all. Come back. I am not here to show you postures to appreciate and enjoy. <laughs> you are supposed to do yourself. So in case, just bend forward for a half to go something to That first you can do all of you. Head down. <laughs> Little relax and slowly, slowly, so every before food, every day if you do that. Slowly, slowly you will go down to touch your own palm to the ground. See? Okay? And what happens? Improve. Improve in the flexibility of your body. That would help you. So this is one. Twisting is bit required. So just both arms straight and twist that. Simple twisting and on the other side. All these things we do with breathing rhythm. When we twist, breathe out, we twist, we come back. Whenever we bend forward, we breathe out, we come back, breathe in, and so on. That much also, the bed exercise that this would be sufficient to keep you healthy. But now, one or two things for your lungs. Sit. Now all of you, our lungs, we have three sets of person, right? I'm sure you all know. One is a big diaphragm, intercostal, and clavicular. Okay? So all these three sets have to be exercised. Because uh, to see that we are keeping it flexible, not tight. Otherwise we breathe very little. So now you are going to breathe better. Once you learn that. So the first you will be a full diaphragm. So you have learned to lie down. In and out. So that is a diaphragmic breathing. It is called a diaphragmic breathing. Abdominal breathing. Sitting also you can do that. So keep your hand on your stomach. Relax from shoulder. No tight shoulder. You inhale, stomach up. Slowly. Exhale, stomach in. Inhale up. Not to take deep breath, not to bring chest up, just stomach up and stomach in. Simple. Whenever we are under tension, tension is received on stomach first. That's why you give them give importance to stomach. Relax your stomach. You relax your stomach. So this is one exercise. Second is intercostal. Rip, rip movement. So keep your arm on the ribs. These are your fingers in front and up behind. Your grip. Yeah, you are getting tight here. But just adjust with each other. Now what you are supposed to do is, here there are places but you are not. Okay. Now inhale and see that your grip spreads sideways. Sideways. So what is doing? Exhale and the fingers So now you will be able to understand. Inhale, your finger goes away. Side, side. Now frog spring. Exhale and come down. So once you focus, where your mind goes, that part starts functioning better. That understand. So inhale and take it sideways, exhale and come back. Inhale sideways, when you are alone, and from behind also, if you could hold your rib behind, and then see that your ribs from back also move, and exhale. This just better when you should do these things. Okay, third is clavicular. Here you have to throw your chest forward. So inhale and breathe in and move your chest up. 
चेस्ट को भरो अच्छी तरह एंड योर शोल्डर अप दैट्स इट सो द क्लैंग टू द एरिया एक्सेल शोल्डर डाउन इनहेल शोल्डर अप एंड फिल योर चेस्ट अप होल्ड एक्सेल डाउन Very simple. All these three sets of muscles should be used. Remember and practice at home. You'll be able to do that. And then comes focusing on something. Meditation. You will discuss about it. Ah. 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 Focusing on the breath. So here we are sitting. With your eyes closed, you are just sitting, eyes closed. If possible, remove your specs. Always, when you are doing meditation, it is better you remove your specs, eyes closed, and just focus on your breath. We are going to do equal breathing. Start inhaling. One, two, three. Exhaling. One, two, three. Inhale. One, two, three. Exhale. One, two, three. Just observe your breath. Whenever you have a stress. Anxiety, fear, frustration. Just observe your brain. You can open your eyes. This is a meditation. Meditation is nothing else. You observe your brain and empty your mind. That is your meditation. Another thing. Sit quietly. Close your eyes again. Now the air is moving around, so just concentrate on the touch of air on your skin. When you focus your mind on air, which is there in the atmosphere, you will feel that sometimes it is touching one side of your neck, sometimes on head, sometimes on. You will notice the presence of air around you. Breathing normally going on, but now mind is focusing on air. It's very interesting, and you can sit like this for ten minutes, fifteen minutes without thought. The mind has to be free from thoughts. Poor mind needs rest, and the rested mind will function very well. So you have to switch off your thoughts for some time. So just listen. Watch the air on your body. All of you can feel the air somewhere. Very good. Okay. Okay. Open your eyes because we can't do it for long. We have to switch to move on. So, okay. Now, the exercise which I showed that is breathe in fully, breathe in fully. Okay. Hold your breath. And now, a sound from your throat. What is happening? The stomach has to sink in when the air is empty. Take the breath again. Breathe in again. Hold your breath.
Slowly, slowly we notice how many seconds you inhale and make a sound. That second should increase more longer. This is nothing I can do for very long time. This, okay, this second will improve. So every day you try and improve by one second more. Every week and you will be able to, to progress very fast. But all this is the technology part of yoga which has to be practiced. The definition of asana itself is the posture in which you are steady and comfortable. It is simple. Still a supermasana. And the second part is that says that put an effort but not forcing me. Or oh, my leg is not coming. Yes, cross your legs. Padmasana. Padmasana. Now one leg like this and one leg like this. This is a lotus pose. How many of you can sit in the house? Try and do that. So how many can sit in this posture? No oh, good. I am so glad to hear that. So continue that. And in this posture to Parvatasana, that will be still effective. In this posture, back to the side, that will be effective. So try and uh, practice one one leg both leg and so on and so forth. So, sitting peacefully and quietly in a right posture. So when you are sitting on the floor, this is one posture. First was Sukhasana, third Vajrasana Vendi. Like this, how Japanese sit, Chinese, Japanese Vajrasana, so when you are just sitting, people are talking to you or watching TV, you should be doing all these things. Sit in different, different posture. Okay. This is called as a Virasa. Ah, ah, yeah. This is called as Virasa. Virasa is a pose. So, when you sit like this and if I tell you to get up, you can get up so fast, like this. Got it? So, this is also a way to sit on the floor, like this. Okay. Prashasana, uh, Govokasana and the palm. This is a very good posture. You can sit like this. Simple? Yeah? So, these are the postures you should take when you are sitting, not stretching leg and sitting like this, this will press your spine. It is not going to do good. On chair also, not like this. You should sit straight like this. Much better. So keep the, all these things in mind. You are studying to check yourself and sit. Very often get up, bend back, bend forward, do something. I always tell people how to study. Now all of you are of course expert. Because you have come to this level, but still remember that when you are studying on your own, you should just read one paragraph and then close your eyes and think what did you read and then keep a rough paper, just jot it down and then get up from that place. Don't sit at one place and bend back and bend forward and then read another paragraph and do this. Thinking always with your eyes closed. How much energy you conserve by closing your eyes, you know? 50%. So try and see that you close your eyes. When you don't need to see, close your eyes. So this is how when you are travelling and you are comfortable, close your eyes, but you are not sleeping. One of our student was travelling in a local train and he was sitting with his eyes closed and somebody wanted to remove his purse, thinking that he is sleeping. Remove the purse from his pocket and quickly caught him. He was alert. Caught his head. And then that station master, it was the station master of Matunga or Dada, he really told him that so thankful we were trying to find this culprit since six months. He was so clever, but you have done it. How did you do that? He says, Yoga. <laughs> to Yoga Institute. Yoga Institute has not been this. It was very simple. So we should be alert. So sit in all these positions, whenever you can, in the house. Uh, read something and go and do somersault on the bed and come back again and read. 
you know, like this. Be active. Okay. You all know that better or no? Little push up. That the better. Do you get that better? I don't know. <laughs> like this. Sitting down, getting up. Okay, and we are again, again done. Push up. Push up, okay. <laughs> this is Pujangasa in yoga. Just do it peacefully. But as all of you are young, you could always uh, do little of these things. Time, depending where you are, depending what condition you are in, but uh, these things also are fine. Walking is always better than running, uh, jogging, walking, no walking. Walking is the exercise. And second good exercise is swimming, of course. If you are in water, then do the swimming if at all. But in city like Mumbai, well, you know, Humidity is very high, so those who catch cold pop, sinusitis, asthma, allergy, and pericatic, levigatic, tonsillitis, all those areas, we don't uh, go for swimming, and so on. So that's it. Um, that's all. Anything else? Institute, 
I learn a lot how to be happy. And now after five years, now I am pursuing my PhD also in yoga, completing it. My life has changed. That is what I wanted to express, you know. Surrounding remains same. My subordinates remain same. My bosses remain same. Problems remain same. But only thing I change, and that make a difference. That make a difference. Which means a more precise officer, more sensitive, and everything. Previously, if I had to arrest someone. First of all, what I used to do, I used to have patata vada. Because I had to arrest some smuggler. I used to eat patata vada. But when I went to yoga institute, I had learned a lot under mom. And all lectures and yoga. Then I understood that was a just filling the gap. I was filling up my stress and tension. And now I understand how to take it. Nothing is permanent. So you all are young. And I know doctors and everything. Spouse being a radiologist, how it goes. Life is very hectic. Life is not very good all the time. So whatever mass lecture was really wonderful. And it is a life lesson. Take it that you are very, very fortunate. Today, at very early age, you got such a lecture. If someone would have given me such a lecture at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, I think I wouldn't have kept uh, quit uh, medicine. Anyway, life is like this. So you all are fortunate, and I wish you best of luck to everyone. Thank you. I would request Dr. Shaini to give Madam one uh, gift. A small gift from us. I would also like to thank uh, the Madam to come with Madam Ma, and uh, it was really nice. Thank you so much, Madam, for being with us. Uh, all the students are supposed to come to Theatre 3 at 1.30 after lunch.